нас поливаются все орудий, блядь. Now we have the video with Russian soldiers from Avdiivka. With translation, two Russian soldiers are discussing how Russia is winning. Impressive. А мы ничего сделать не можем, просто, сука, блядь, пушечное мясо, нахуй. Нас поливаются все орудий, блядь. Это называется закрепка. А у нас, нахуй, две минометки, нахуй, и пиздец, нихуя больше. Со всех ебать сторон, нахуй, просто. Тут от леса полосы-то нихуя не осталось. Ну так, покажи ее как-нибудь. Так и вот она, нахуй, за тобой. Все, не надо, нахуй. Тихонечко сидим, пацаны. Да вот так вот, высунул, вот мы. Да. Снимает? Да. Another hero of the Russian Federation. Dismemberment from the Leningrad region. Police found a suitcase with body parts of a 47-year-old woman in the apartment of the hero of a special military operation. On the spot, law enforcement officers detained a former convict who fought in Ukraine and his lover. They admitted that the three of them were drinking, quarreled with the victim, then killed and dismembered her. The man has already been convicted twice for murder and causing grievous bodily harm. He left the colony for Ukraine, then returned home. The killers of Ukrainian policemen who served in the ranks of the armed forces were detained. But this is where their interesting activity emerged. In the photo, they are together with the Russian FSB, that is, the Moscow Patriarchate. There is no doubt that they were Russian agents. Volodymyr Zelensky spoke about the situation at the front and the war in Ukraine. The head of state emphasized that Ukraine has every chance for victory against Russia. At the same time, an important element of this process is the timely provision of the necessary weapons to Ukraine. The president of Ukraine said this in an interview with journalists from the American television channel NBC. The president emphasized that the Americans are not financing the war in Ukraine, but, above all, are defending the freedom and democracy of the entire European continent. The fact that Ukraine is fighting, the fact that our state is giving its best sons and daughters, reduces the cost for all of Europe, including NATO countries, and frankly, for the United States of America as the leaders of NATO," Zelensky explained. As long as Ukraine stands defending NATO countries, there will be no war of the United States of America against Russian aggression. Ukraine is fighting and standing on defense, said the head of state. Zelensky noted that the course of the war in the country depends on when the appropriate weapons arrive. For six months, there was a slowdown in processes. And I'll tell you, during these six months, we had losses in some directions. Not only people, but also equipment. And in the east, it was very difficult. There are Russian troops there, and there I think we lost the initiative, he said. At the same time, the head of state noted that now we have every chance after stabilization to make and receive this initiative. However, for this to happen, 
the appropriate weapons must arrive. When it comes and is in our hands, it means we will have the initiative, and then we will be able to move forward, Zelensky explained. Answering the question of how long the war in Ukraine will last, Zelensky noted that it depends primarily on how long we wait for appropriate assistance. However, there are still many different factors. Sometimes, while defending important lines, we retreated because we didn't have enough weapons, we didn't have forces, artillery, and now, to recapture these lines, we need two, three times more time. I'm not saying that this will happen, but everything is possible, the Ukrainian leader emphasized. As an example, Zelensky cited the situation with the supply of F-16 fighters to Ukraine. Despite the fact that the decision to supply F-16S was made a year ago, the fighters have not yet arrived in Ukraine, making accurate predictions about future actions difficult. Zelensky noted the need for transparency and specificity in discussing issues of military support, noting that after receiving the expected weapons, it will be possible to make more specific prediction regarding Ukraine's strategic steps. A fire broke out in an industrial building in Moscow region. It has spread to 1,200 square meters, Russian emergency services. Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Mark Warner unequivocally said yes. The White House will send long-range ATACMs to Ukraine. Long-range better mean more than 300 kilometers, and the quantity better be at least in the hundreds. 2,000 would be better. Well, the great news is this is finally happening. It should have happened six months ago. The next best time is right now, this week. Um, we've seen the Ukrainians overperform. If you step back for a moment and think about the fact that for most of my life, most of America's defense forces were focused on Russia. Getting this additional equipment as quickly as possible, I hope once this gets to the president by Tuesday or Wednesday, that these shipments will be literally launched with that longer range attack. By next week. I hope once the president signs, uh, we've been told that there is, it is the president's signature making sure Congress does its job, that these materials will be in transit by the end of the week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members-only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.